Hey everybody, I'm at the World of Concrete Trade Show at the Milwaukee booth and we have a new M18 duplex nailer. This is Brian, he's a product manager. Brian, can we do a little bit of a deep dive on this? Yeah, thing? yeah. so when you talk about duplex nailing, when you talk about concrete formwork assembly, traditionally most people are hand driving these nails currently right, today using right. a hammer. Yep. Very time consuming, very labor intensive process. That changes with the introduction of the M18 fuel duplex nailer. So we're making our users more productive on the site, we're also making them a good deal safer. We've done a time study and we can prove out that you will be up to seven times faster in concrete formwork assembly using the duplex nailer as opposed to swinging a hammer. And more importantly, it's the wear and tear on your body. The repetitive motion of swinging a hammer day after day, week after week, year after year takes a toll. You're alleviating that by using the M18 fuel duplex nailer. So Brian, this comes as a kit with a five amp hour battery. Yes. What kind of, how many nails can I shoot on that five amp hour battery? So this will give you over 800 nails on a single five amp hour battery charge, which is more than enough to get you through your most demanding day of formwork assembly. And who else makes these? So there are, there are a limited number of uh, competitor collated duplex nails. These are proprietary to Milwaukee, so these are specific for our nailer. We didn't just drive innovation with the tool, we also drove innovation with the fastener design. So we have an increased spacing between nail heads, so if you have an overdriven fastener, you can still get access to it and pull it out with a pry bar or a hammer claw. In addition to that, we went with a larger head design. That's important because you want to be able to grip it appropriately when you're pulling it with that pry bar or a claw hammer. So you mentioned overdriving. If you have that situation, I'm yep. guessing you have a depth of drive adjustment? Yes, yep. So we have a depth of drive adjustment on the tool right here. We also have a tool-free jam clearing latch. Lifts off, so yeah. if you want to get quick access to the front of the tool, if you got to clear out dirt or debris or an extra fastener, yep, just like you that. can do that, easy as that, and then you're ready to go back to work. Awesome. Optimize efficiency. Um, bump fire and sequential? You yes. Have two different, okay. Yep, so you're gonna have your two different modes. You're gonna have your sequential fire mode, and then you can also switch it into your bump fire mode. Fires up to four nails a second. There's two other things there. It looks like a temperature gauge and a battery thing. Yes. What, what do those tell us? Yep. So if you're outside the safe operating zone of the tool and the battery, either too cold or too hot, this temperature icon will illuminate and let you know that. Our tools will function all the way down to negative four degrees Fahrenheit and all the way up to over 100 degrees. Really? Yep. That's impressive. And then this is going to be a low battery icon, so it'll give you a heads up when you're at a low state of charge. Uh, it will not drop off in power and performance as the battery depletes. As soon as you get to that last nail, it'll just stop. So I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to use this nail and I'm not looking here. I'm looking here, so is, yep. it, is there an audible as well? It is not audible, it's just going to be the light, but you'll, hint, you'll fire hint. it and you won't get the nail. Maybe yeah. audible in Gen yeah. 2? Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe a, an upgrade? Thought, yeah. Uh, you, why flat here? So you can lay it down yep. or something? Yeah, so commonly when you're working with formwork, it's below the waist. Yep. So we wanted to make it easily accessible when you're adjusting material to pick it up get back to work. Nice and flat. And this, yeah. this looks like a, a nitrogen tank? Yes, yep, that's our nitrogen gas spring mechanism similar to our other nailers. Yeah, so we covered this in a lot of our uh, reviews, tool reviews on Milwaukee nailers, how they uh, they use nitrogen inside the tank, which uh, is uh, less less corrosion. Yep, um, yeah, less permeable. permeable. It, it's, it's more consistent than like an oxygen mixture, so yep. you, you're gonna have that consistent seating performance at the pressure. Awesome. What else can you tell me about it? We talked about runtime, yep. price, availability. Yep, so we're gonna be launching this in Q3 of this year. So it's gonna be coming out late summer. Uh, and then for pricing, it's gonna be 549 bare tool. It's gonna be 649 kitted with the five amp hour battery. And then in terms of our nails, it will be 105 for the 16 penny longer nails and then 95 for the eight penny shorter nails. Now, Brian, uh, any demand for a longer magazine? It's something that we're evaluating. Right now we're launching with just the standard magazine. It's only gonna take one sleeve and maybe what, a few extra nails? Yep, yeah, so you'll have some buffer in there. You'll get about five fasteners, then another sleeve on top is of it. Is there a dry fire lockout? Yes, a dry fire lockout is at three nails. Three nails, okay, that's good to know. No. Um, what else am I not asking? We got a hook here. Yep, so, so this is like our stepped rafter hook, so yep. it can fit over two by material, two by, three by lighter plus. material, and yep. it grips a little bit better than the standard rafter hook. And then you've got your belt clip as well on, on the yep. side. I might just leave this on for the day. What do you yeah, think? It's a good I mean? look. It's a good look, right? <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Well, hey, thank awesome. you so much. This Thanks has been great. Out. I appreciate yeah. you showing us. I appreciate uh, it. Can we fire a few nails? Yes. With this? Yeah, by all means. Let's do it. Got my glasses on. So we got our. Uh, our demo material here, this is going to be your structural grade ply form, so very dense plywood, yep. and then it's backed with framing lumber underneath. So this is a solid piece that you're firing into. And we are on uh, sequential right now. 
So that, I would call that overdrive, right? Yep. A little bit. Yep. So let's set so, that back a little. Yep. And that's why we have that larger spacing between heads. That's better. In case that you are overdriving. There we go. That's perfect right yep. there. Now, I don't do concrete forms, but the, yeah. the guys that do that, do they do they bump? They bump uh, fire? Yeah, yeah, if they're doing long runs, like if they're doing edge form, if they're doing a lot of slab edge, they'll go in rapid sequence. Oh, it looks like you'll need another rack and nail. Yeah. Right so let's try, let's try that bump yeah. fire. I'd like to see yeah. how it works. Here we go. That's impressive. Yeah. Feels of good power. The, the recoil is to be expected, I think. Yep. It's not crazy. Uh, yeah, it's that's... about a half pound lighter than our framing nailer, too. And wow. we, had, we shifted the handle position to better balance it between the front and the back of the tool. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, thanks again. I thanks appreciate again. your time. I and appreciate this has been great. It. Yeah, thanks for stopping out.